going on, Capricorns? Thank you to everyone that's like, shared, subscribed. If you guys have purchased a reading or donated to my page, I'm so grateful. If you have not subscribed, please do so that you know when I'm here. And so you can keep up with the channel. Also, um, if the reading resonates with you, please hit the like. I would greatly appreciate it. This energy could be masculine or feminine. Place it on whatever side you need to. And if you feel like I'm talking about you, Capricorn, and you say, hey, that's not my energy, that's someone else's, just understand that I'm in your energy, okay? Um, let's see what we got here. Who's coming towards uh, Capricorn? I'm going to see. This is for singles. What is the message for singles? Okay. So your person is uh, gearing up to leave a situation, Capricorn. Okay, um, this person is paying attention to the signs and synchronicities of the universe and may be dealing with some sort of karmic family situation right now. They're trying to figure out when is the best time to walk away. Um, I believe that this is not a person that you've ever met. I believe that this is going to be a brand new person. Um, and I also believe that this person is coming from being... Uh, strictly religious this person may be church going um to understanding some of the universe understanding uh some of the synchronicities and may uh, be moving a little bit um differently than they have always moved i feel like someone may be older now i'm feeling like anywhere between 40 years old and maybe 55 years old i also feel that someone is making different determinations in their life um, so everything that would would have made sense um, younger in, in their younger years, it makes sense now, but on a different level. And now they're able to see the added elements to it. OK, um, so like for a scenario with these cards that just came out. OK, this person may have been very self-critical of themselves and their environment before. Now they're able to look at things and say, you know what? I was very judgmental. I was, you know, um, exaggerating negatives, but not being able to see the goodness of a situation. Um, I do know that I was in a karmic situation or a karmic family or, or I, I am a member of that. You know, that doesn't define who I am. That doesn't define, you know, how I go forward in my life. So walking away or even walking away mentally uh, with a different uh, mental capacity um, is now opening this person's eyes to to the um, to the universal ways or, or or spirituality in some way. This is a person that may be watching tarot readings, um, like just like you are Capricorn. This person that that um, will be coming towards you, um, they're now um, understanding that there's more to life than what they've always known. Okay, and as they get older, like I said, this is something that's being elevated. So this is a person that's going from being very judgmental. Okay, this could also be you, Capricorn, if this is your energy. A person is going from being very judgmental to very um to, to open minded. And this is a scary time for someone. 444 could be significant for you guys. Look that up um, so that you can see what that means for you individually. Um, but let's continue. Okay. I believe that it's been some time, Capricorn. Um, you guys may have been coming across partners that may have fit the bill at first. And then something happened. Either they said or did something that caused you to walk away from them. You say, you know what? For some of you, this person is walking down train tracks. Or some of you could have taken the train. You could have uh, traveled to people as well. Um, just with excitement and hope that something would uh, be what you needed it to be romantically. Okay. Um, I'm feeling like not only were you critical of that person. Yeah, there we go. Thank you, Spirit, for coming through. There's that travel I was just mentioning. Um, some of you could have been critical on yourself, you know, very critical on the person that you met as well. And, and it's nothing wrong with wanting someone to check all your boxes, Capricorn. I understand. Um, but for some of you, you know, you may have some things on your boxes um, that maybe need to be reevaluated. So that's what, what Spirit has given me, okay? So that's self-critical. Um, 
um, nature that you do have or, or that, that judgmental way about you may need to be checked a bit, especially if you're hoping um, to meet this person, okay? I feel like this person... Um, this person may suffer from the same things. You know, they may be self-critical as well. And two self-critical people, you guys, two things are going to happen. You're either going to help each other or you're going to combat each other, right? So Spirit is wanting one of you, you know, and I'm talking to you, Capricorn, um, to to uh, be able to reevaluate different parts of your life and try to figure out, you know, how you can make changes or how you can move forward in a better way. Okay, so we have the journey relocation moving on. Some of you may have recently... Uh, relocated uh, from somewhere okay you may have met someone the last time in um, the fall you know where you thought this person was going to be someone that was significant in your life but you found out that this person was you know full of it or this person just was not what you needed them to be so you're moving forward with caution you're going forward um, looking around you know crossing your T's dotting your I's and I understand um, so some of the judgment um, that you have here, you know, it could be because of how things have went when you have put faith into situations or people or you've gotten excited when it came to situations or people, right? But Spirit is saying that you do have some unreasonable expectations that really need to be looked at now before this person comes towards you. Now we have Spirit of the Apple. This person is going to come in, they're going to test you. But it's going to be as per your discretion if you um, if you give them a chance or not. Okay? Do they do they go through and tick your boxes? Do they allow for you to have freedom? For you to be an individual? Do they allow for you to still do the things that you currently do? Will this be a person that blends in with your life, whatever that may be? Does this person uh, compliment you? Do you compliment them? These are the things that are going to be tempting you. Capricorn okay but this is an offer coming from the universe and what what the universe is saying right you don't want to put your put your mask on um, to wear that that judgment mask that you wear you don't want to do that to where you're not able to see the good qualities of this person because what will happen is you'll be stuck in this loop of not having anything for a while right so you don't want to give yourself um, self-deception okay um, you don't want to to deprive yourself of having something beautiful because of how things have went previously. You just want to be able to um, to use the resources that you have within you to make the decisions that you need to make. Now, you also want to pay attention to your dreams. Uh, Capricorn Spirit could be trying to give you details of how you can change your perception or work towards a perception change during your your. Um, during your sleep patterns like they're trying to give you these these gems of information why because they feel like you've been stuck in the same loop for some time and, and everything has been delayed with coming towards you and you do not want to feel that you um are gonna have to continue to wait okay spirit is saying hey you have the community social companionship uh card they want you to have companionship they want you to get out here in the community and actually meet someone that that um feels good to your spirit okay um, but you first have to go through a perception change of some nature in order to get um, to where you need to be um, that perception change is going to open your eyes and open your heart and open your arms um, to be able to call in a person um, instead of you waiting and, and longing for them okay so you need to also calm your temper for some of you um, you may have been up and down with your emotions spirit wants you to stay on deck with that make sure that you are relaxing as well taking time out for yourself because as you take that time for yourself pamper yourself in whatever ways and grooming um, if you're going out to the movies by yourself going out to dinner by yourself whatever makes you happy or whatever you would be doing while you're in a union with another person is what you want to do now okay capricorn so just be mindful um that you want to move accordingly you want to move like you already have someone in your life um even if you're by yourself okay give me uh, another card for capricorn please okay yep so spirit is saying look you're gonna have some answered prayers that come toward you based on 
what we're talking about here. You making the changes that you need to make in your life. You'll have those answered prayers for those prayers that you're asking for. Or whether you're asking for um, a person to come in, for someone to love. Or if you're asking for you to travel, uh, tr uh, move out of the country maybe, or out of the state. Whatever it is that you're asking for, uh, Spirit wants to give you. Uh, but it comes after you making some changes first. Um, and then I see that you guys are, are able to uh, really... Once once you make these changes, your future is looking bright, okay? Um, I'm predicting right now that you're going to have goodness, um, love, um, abundance, and prosperity. Um, and you guys are going to be able to make the moves that you would like to make um, in your life. Granted, you know, the, the changes that the universe is asking for. Um, you, like I said, evaluating your judgment, your judgment uh, system. Um, going back over why you like the things you do, why you want the things you want, etc. I feel like that's what's going to help you. Okay, so let's just get the last of these cards so that we can tie this up for Capricorn. Okay, yep. So what is it that you need to let go of? What is it that you need to stop doing? What thoughts are dominating your feelings right now? What perceptions need to be changed, like I said, uh, for you to have a fair judgment so to make right decisions when it comes to these people that you are dealing with? I know that you guys are saying, you know what, I'm, I'm making the judgments that I need to make, Renee, because, you know, I need to stand up for myself and my needs my wants are, are very important, and yes, they are. You are the person that needs to stand up for yourself, and you are the person that knows what your wants and needs are. But being too harsh sometimes um, can get us, you know, into a, a, a box, per se, that it's hard to get out of. So Spirit is trying to help you with that, okay? You're very intelligent. You're very witty. You're very analytical. And Spirit is saying, you know what? I want you to win, right? I want you to be prosperous with this Ace of Pentacles card. I want you to um, have, you know, a good financial life, a good, uh, a good, um, positive flow of energy, you know, going forward with new beginnings and opportunities. I want you to have the money and the investments and the, the savings and, you know, the security and stability that you have been praying for, but that comes, you know, with you making a better determination on what you actually need as opposed to uh, what you want. Okay. So yeah, I feel like someone here needs to write down some of their wants, in a relationship or a situation or and, and then on the other paper you put down your actual needs like what is a deal breaker if you don't have those things you know how how um can you go forward you know with with such okay so you're gonna need to look that uh, look at that um with really really honest eyes and that's what i tell my kids all the time you got to look at it with honest eyes okay just be very honest with yourself okay because you know you have options with the seven of cups energy here we know that you have options so you just want to be honest with yourself what what do you need what don't you need what can you go without you know so when this person does come towards you you're not you know, throwing them in the same box as, as you've thrown other people, right? You may need to travel to meet this person. You may be meeting people while you're traveling. You know, Spirit is saying, don't worry because, you know, the work that you've already put in is going to pay off. Um, understanding that we all go through heartbreaks and um, betrayals here um, is, is it's a way of life, right? But that don't let that loneliness, okay, that you're feeling, um, of that depression steer you in the wrong direction okay don't feel like old patterns okay that you've already went through or already made it through um can come back and haunt you when it comes to um you meeting someone new okay so you you want to be able to um get through the confusion of Hey, is this person this, this like this person over here? Uh, is this person doing the same things as this person? Blah blah blah. You know, you want to use what you've already learned to make the best decision. So, spirit is saying, be very careful not to deceive yourself. Be very careful not to hurt yourself as you go forward. Okay. So we have look, happy family, 
you know. Um, this could be a reunion. It could be someone from a past life that you've never met before. The Spirit is saying now it's time for you guys to be in alignment, okay? This, is, this person, however, whoever is coming towards you will feel like you've known them before. They'll be very comfortable to you. They'll feel like they belong, okay? You can take this person to your family reunions and stuff like that and just let them go because, you know, you didn't have to prep them first or you didn't have to tell them what not to say. This person just gets it, okay? Um, so I feel really good uh, with this energy coming through for you, Capricorn. You know, we have Scorpio energy, we have Aries energy, we have Libra energy. Um, so listen, you know, um, I wish you guys the, the very best with this. Um, I send you all the utmost love and light. If anyone needs a personal reading, the information's in the box below, my loves. You guys take care.